Well, hello and welcome from the Amalfi Coast as we drive from the ship to Sorrento. After Sorrento, we're going to head back towards Naples and stop off at Pompeii. So that's our first excursion on the Sun Princess. Here's what's coming up. And there's a mad dog over there. So where are we, Melissa? Can I speak now? Yes, okay. thank you. We are in the Positano, well, a view of Positano. Oh, yeah, on the Amalfi Coast. On the Amalfi Coast. And the sun's come out. Yes. No rain today, well, not yet. As much as Melissa's beautiful to look at, let's have a look at the view. <laughs> So we're here at the end of February and the crowd level isn't too bad. You can actually move around and the temperature is perfect for sightseeing. There's a little store selling sun-dried tomatoes and tomato stuff. What's that? Freshly squeezed orange and it's pomegranate. Good for your prostate. So from Positano, we're going to head towards Sorrento for lunch, I think. Well, hello. We're in Sorrento. Sorrento. And uh, we just got, we just arrived. It's quite chilly, isn't it? The sun's come out. It's cold and we're having coffee, cappuccino. Yeah. Americano. What's that, dear cappuccino voice you're in? Cappuccino. <laughs> you and your impersonations. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to have a quick cup of coffee, then have a little walk around. We've got about an hour and a bit. So, and get some food before we go to Pompeii. Then we're off to Pompeii. We're wandering round Sorrento at the moment, and it's very quiet, isn't it? Yeah. It's definitely the off season. But it's a so very good time of year to come. The sun's out. Yeah, it's not too hot. It's a pleasant about 15 degrees, <clears throat> so it's pretty cool. I don't know if we're going to have time to try a bit of pizza. A lot of places are closed as well, I've noticed. We have a snack. Yeah. Otherwise it'd be a long time before we can... So we're going to have a bit of a stroll <laughs> before we head over to Pompeii. <laughs> it's so quiet here. I bet it's totally different doing the heights of summer. Yeah, <laughs> it's lovely. It's really peaceful. Yes, it is. Apart from the mopeds. But that's the backdrop. The backdrop <laughs> the, of Italy. The soundscape for Italy, isn't it? Our next stop is Pompeii, but before we leave Sorrento, mm -hmm. we're having a lunch. So what are you having? I don't know. Parma ham. <laughs> I think that's a bit weird. Hot parma ham. 
It's not the best sandwich, was it? Mm. Mine's okay. I had a caprese. Getting everywhere. Mm, a bit messy. Oh. I've never had hot lettuce before. Hot lettuce, yeah, I know. <laughs> so, we'll see you in Pompeii. This world problems, hot lettuce. Are you ready to go up Pompeii? Yes, I am. <laughs> up Pompeii. Up you look like Pompeii. Frankie Howard. <laughs> <laughs> In 79 AD, so we're talking about 2000 years ago, and the city has been preserved for more than 17 centuries under Nidia, till the official excavations that only started in the 1748. Cavia for rich people like businessmen, and there was an upper area that you can see just right there. It's moving all over the cavia, named Summa Cavia at the top for common people and women. So, first of all, here we are in one of the main streets of Pompeii, named Stabian Street because it was the way to go to Stabia, another ancient Roman city buried as well as Pompeii Herculaneum in the 79 AD. Vesuvius smell. Yeah. It's smoking. I can hear rumbling. I don't know. <laughs> Thankfully, we get out here. Not now. I was saying earlier, mm -hmm. we haven't seen Frankie Howard's house. <laughs> She's tired thing. of the same old jokes, aren't you? Yeah, I hear these jokes all the time, even though when you're not in Italy. <laughs> so, what we'll do, we'll see you back on the ship. Where are we going tonight? Is that a shrug? So we're now back on board after our trip to Pompeii and Sorrento. You can see the tugs are getting lined up to take us. There's one there at the back and the other ones over there. So Mel's going through the restaurants deciding where to go tonight and it stayed dry. The forecast originally wasn't too good. This is the reserve dining room yep. for mini sweets and above guests. It's very nice. Just we... wine. So we said apple spritz. Apple spritz. The thing is, because we're so hungry, we've been out for like nine or ten hours. We didn't show you the food. It came, you just tucked into it, as normal people do. <laughs> Must be the worst vloggers. We didn't wait. We just tucked in. I've got um, a veg coma which actually tastes nice as it looks. And Mel's got the veal, veal sca scaffolini. Like basically like um, milanese. <laughs> anyway, we're going to see what's on later and we may see you tomorrow morning. Well, good morning. Good morning. We forgot to round off the video properly last night. We did. You were drinking too much, that's why. Yeah, I wasn't. No, you weren't. <laughs> but I've got my my eyes are a bit red, so I've got my glasses on just to save you staring at my face. Are your red? Well, I'm a bit rough, you know, sort of. You don't look that bad. Okay. Well, you, you didn't. Well, anyway, just anyway. to get back to the video, what did we do last night? 
went to the reserve dining again. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was nice. Then we went to the main piazza area and there was a couple of shows. Yeah. A Welsh bloke singing. Yeah, and playing his uh, guitar, guitar and his uh, <laughs> guitar. <so>. And his <laughs> piano. And then we went for a drink. Oh, it was a quiz thing as well. Then we went to the. We found a small cocktail bar called Good Spirits at Sea, and we ended up there, didn't we? Yeah, you had a cocktail. Yeah, that was. It was really small. It's quite hard to find. Yeah. And even though there's only about three hundred out of three and a half thousand British people on board, they were all in that bar for some reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I nearly forgot to mention, the day is the 1st of March, so I've got my leek. One of the national emblems for Wales, St David's Day, is on March the 1st. And it's our wedding anniversary as well, isn't it, Mel? It is! So I'm going to pin my leek to my shirt, like I used to do in school. And I've got to mention, Mel uh, bought me a nice card and some chocolate. But she forgot to write in the card, she just gave me a blank card. <laughs> Fill out yourself. Did you like your card? I did. It's full of swearing, but there's no writing inside from you. It, uh, yeah, and uh, it's the card's too rude to show. By the way, I've got a daffodil for you as well. Oh, that's going to really go with my top, <laughs> isn't it? You can wear it later. So we've just missed breakfast in the eatery, and they've got one station open for omelettes, but it's a bit busy. The reason being, the clocks have gone forward again, because we're heading towards Greece. So we were a bit late getting up. So this is the food at the International Cafe. Do you fancy anything? So Mel's going to get some food and I'm going to order a specialty coffee. Well, I've ordered coffee from the International Cafe. You have to pay for the coffee, but the food is free, isn't it? One tip, they are quite slow and it's a mixture of being busy and also being new but when Mel was waiting the waiter came over to order coffee in any case so I wouldn't queue no, I would just find a seat in this lounge and I'd uh, wait for a waiter to come over so what have we got there Mel? what's that? chocolate? Uh, chocolate, and marble, and pancake, what's that? That's got, like, apple, chocolate croissant and custard no it's lemon lemon is it? Okay. What should I go for then, Mel? I don't know. What's this thing? I thought you might like the cake, I don't know. <laughs> Not everyone wants to see you eat it, eating, you know? Yeah, you could be right. <laughs> so this is what we've got on today. Um, later on, there's Marcia Lynette as Whitney Houston. There's a ladies' pamper party and they're advertising the cow sushi. So here, morning. We've missed half of this because there was an hour's time difference. So we've got up quite late. I was going to go to the Zumba, but it's okay. too late for you that. You had the intention. I had the intention. Um, what are we doing today then? Mate? Well, this afternoon, there's a slot poll. Are we putting yeah. in $20 each? That's not organised with the cruise line. No, this is organised in the Facebook group. Yeah. Um, and then we split the winnings. I don't know how it's going to work. If we win. If we win. Yeah. Then, uh, what? Then, um, 2.45, we've got a wine tasting. Yep. We paid extra for that. It was $19 per person. Um, it sounded nice, especially because today is March the 1st and it's our wedding anniversary. Yeah. So we thought it was something I'm different. I'm Mel's got a daffodil on. My daff. Yeah, okay. national symbol of Wales. Anyway. Um, and then this evening, yeah. there is... The cap formal night. Like a captain's formal night. Okay. Yeah. Um, also, I'm trying to see what else is on tonight. Well, we'll find out later. I'm yeah. trying to get on with my coffee again. Okay, get on with your coffee. You asked me. You asked me to show show you this. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> on the edge of the piazza, you've got this little walkway, which uh, makes you feel a bit odd, doesn't it? Does anyone have that weird feeling in their stomach when they look down over heights like this? <laughs> oh, it's just me. So, <laughs> outside, on deck, was at deck nine, there's a little pizza place. Really good. There's really nice pizzas Big there. Big crust pizza. Unfortunately, it's a bit cold, as you can see, just out there. So 
So now we're going to go to... They said there's a new concept yeah. for Princess. So now we're going to go to the casino for the slot tour. So, okay. slot tour. Slot tour, come on. Let's, let's go, go inside, then. Yeah. Freezing. Go. On the way back in, we passed the Horizons dining room. And it looks like they were still serving breakfast, weren't they? Yeah. Or breakfast-style brunch things. That's Sabatini's, the Italian restaurant. We're not sure if we're going to go there because it looks like there's a set charge, isn't it, for a lot of food. Too much for us. Yeah. Too much even for us, I should Too say. Too much even for us, yeah. Shortly, we'll be in the casino. I don't know how much we can film, because you know what casinos are like. They can be a bit funny, can't they? But the slot pool should be okay. Especially if we win. So we're going into the casino. It is smoking, and it's got that Las Vegas stale oh, smoke yeah, yeah. smell already. It's a brand new ship, but it already smells like that. So this is our machine. Oh, that's that's fun. Oh, let me get Have it paid out anybody yet? He's, 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 Why did you choose uh, this one then? So last night, um, Brandon had said this hasn't hit big yet for the jackpot. Okay. So it's just waiting for us. Does anybody doubt it? We have four hundred and forty dollars in the machine. Twenty-two people have signed up. Okay. We are going to play the five lines, five credits. Sarah, push that for us. Everybody's going to get four pulls. That was my turn. Pull number one. Oh, so Loser. <laughs> Pull number two. Yeah, calm down, mate. Calm down. <laughs> Do I get personal? What number are we on now? Number three. Three. Come on, come on. Oh. And number four. Oh. 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 Number two. Number three. Come on. Number four. Let's hit it now. Number four. All right. Oh. Oh. You're a loser as well. I know. <laughs> It was good fun, we didn't win much, no. I think the most was 130, was it? Something yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. We all put it back in, didn't we? I was hoping for the jackpot. Yeah. I think a few people oh, scoping out the machine yeah, house yeah. <laughs> I reckon somebody's going to go up to that machine, yeah, and win. <laughs> win big, yeah. Oh, no, the odds on casino machines aren't very good at the best no, of times, are they? No. So what should we do now? Snack or something? Yeah. yeah, yeah well, we, we were drinking it. Uh, we have no wine tasting it. Yeah. ordered at three, so we need some food before that. Yeah, yeah, let's go and get some food. Paninis, no. salads. Asian food, sweet and sour chicken. Okay, you're going to find something to six. Yeah. Uh, uh, Potato chips. <laughs> So what foods do you choose? Oh, um, <clears throat> some burritos. Yeah. Guacamole. Yeah. Some potatoes and uh, mixed rice. So what have you got, Marcus? Well, I've gone for a salad, but actually garlic cheesy bread. Again, there's music playing everywhere, so uh, we'll be brief. 
So casino this morning, and now we're off to wine tasting. And we need to rush, but late, let's go. So we're ready for wine tasting. We've got some wines lined up. I don't know how it's gonna work. Do you? Are they gonna explain anything? So I'm getting notes of notes apple apple notes of the scandal um, I'm getting fizz I'm getting Corona Corona pop <laughs> that guy on Burdock. Um, no, this is uh, an American pretend champagne. Yeah. Easy drinking. Anything's easy drinking for you. What? Well, anything's easy drinking for me? Chicky so and so. Mel's on the Ritz crackers. I haven't had one of these in years. Fix me back to my childhood. Well, this one is a Chardonnay. It tastes of an old school recorder. It's got that sort of slightly musty smell. Yeah, slightly musty. It's not bad though. Slightly musty and slightly. <laughs> what a description. Slightly musty. Like a well used recorder. Like a well used recorder. I'm on the Naomi Pinoir from California. Look at the colour of that. It's very dark indeed. It tastes like. Look at it. Opinion. Wait a moment, let me speak. It's very dark. And it smells of Ribena. And it's very soft on the palate. It's very nice, actually. Very nice indeed. Black carrots. Remember Julie Golden? Shut up now, Marcus. Black carrots. Remember Julie Golden? We have blackberry. Well, we've seen off the other guests on our table. They've left. Unfortunately, they've left their wine, but they've had a swig out of each one, so we can't pinch it. So that was wine tasting, which was, the wine tasting part was good. Unfortunately, they didn't have a decent mic system. You can hear words people were saying. Enjoyable though. It it's was. good. I would say good value for nineteen dollars. Yeah, I feel like I've had a couple of glasses of wine. Well, some of it was nice wine, wine as well. Yeah. So they were asking for feedback and did apologise for the sound. That's good. But if you're watching this from the future and they sort out the sound, I would recommend doing the wine tasting. Yeah. Right back to the room. Cause I'm tired. <laughs> it's all about wine. Well, hello, it's the captain's dinner evening. We're all dressed up wow. yeah, it's been there. for dinner. So we're just gonna go down again. I'm not taking the big camera. I'm just gonna take the phone. And we don't know where we're going for dinner tonight, do we? No, I left a bit late to book. Yeah, a bit late booking. It's our anniversary, we should have done something special. Oh, we did have something booked. Sabatini's. Yeah. But you didn't want all the food, did you? No, it seems a bit much food. So we'll see where we end up. Uh, one thing about the entertainment, the main theatre is still closed and there's no main show. No. Which is a bit disappointing. So the only shows are the comedian and shows in the atrium. Yeah. It's still good. It's still good. I know it's first world problems. It would have been nice if it was on, but... Mm, there's no show at all, nothing at all, no, like not even a, no. a feature show or anything. So anyway, let's go down and meet the captain. Let's have a free drink. See if he's sober. Well, thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. A very good evening. Well, it's a real pleasure and an honour to welcome you on board the Sun Princess for this very first inaugural cruise. We finally made it, and here you are. Don't you look wonderful this evening? So the very first guests that we welcome on board, I hope you're finding your way around, a little bit different to the other ships in our fleet. 
once again, very emotional this evening, a very great, great pleasure. Last thing I want to do is please ask you to raise a glass, if you have one, as we arrive at the toast. First of all, to all of you, to good health and prosperity, to all the ship's company and our teammates, and most of all, to this spectacular ship at Sun Princess. Once again, Sun Princess, welcome aboard, and cheers to you. Thank you. Tonight, but it's floor eight, and it's an actual all-American yeah. dining menu. Yeah. The, the I main realise this. Seven, six, seven, and eight. Yeah, this but is all included. It's a walk up. Yeah, walk up. Just walk in. It's quite quiet here actually um, tonight because it's a special celebration night tonight. They've got a special on, which is Chateaubriand and lobster no, prawns. prawns. Uh, that's because it's a celebration night. Most of the dishes, uh, that's included in the menu, and most of the dishes on the menu are included as well. You can pay extra for lobster and filet mignon. Um, but it's, yeah, it looks a nice menu. They've got ribs, they've got well, do I'll show pasta, I'll yeah, up, and burgers. I'll stick up some photographs. So there's our starter, some nachos. Definitely big yeah. enough for two. Yep. What have you got, Mel? Chateaubriand. Chateaubriand. With some prawns. Surf and turf. Surf and turf. With, with, yeah. with fries. It normally comes with mash, but Mel can't do mash. I can't do mash. It comes with chips. They put the salt in this one. And the pepper in this one. What's your views on that? Controversial. It's my burger, plant-based burger. That's nice, Marcus. Mel's gone for apple pie. Ta -da! Is that apple pie? Yeah, with cream. Looks nice. So we just had dinner in Horizon, but on deck eight. And it's like an American diner. diner type. It doesn't look like an American diner. No. It's not themed, but the food is American. And it's really calm. No one, no one knows it's there by the looks of it. No one knows it's a separate menu because on the app, it's not showing the menu this year. Yeah. It's not showing ribs and burgers. And it's a walk up place. You, not, you yeah. can't book it. No. All right, it's definitely worth it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, decades. Back of the ship horizons. That one, they open at 10. For brunch. They do brunch and breakfast. And it, yeah, no one seems to know about it as yet. It's empty. Well, good morning from Hania in Crete. Good morning. We had a good day yesterday, didn't we? we? Did, yeah. We don't sign off at the end because we're normally in no fit state, either slightly drunk or slightly tired. <laughs> well, yesterday we spent. Did the slot pull and over a thousand dollars went into that machine i think yeah and we got nothing nothing in it's good fun though <laughs> it was a good way of doing it because even though it was a lot of money between us there wasn't mm. a lot was it no 20 dollars each yeah so that was a good fun and then we had the wine tasting yeah. which would have been good if they had better sound yeah but the the microphone of the host you couldn't hear it they did apologize but if they sort that out it would be really good and then in the evening we went to the level eight, deck yeah. eight of the horizons. Of buffet. the horizons. Oh, not buffet, sorry, horizons. Yeah, the six and seven <laughs> are the same menu. Deck eight is different. What's really funny? People online criticising you, saying, "Oh, it's the same menu." You know, I went there. <laughs> I know what it's like. They've got like an American deck eight horizons. You can just walk up, and. They've got an American theme. I think it's just walk-ins only. Yeah, mm. they've got an American theme menu. And that was good, wasn't it? It was good. And that was it. The only problem last night, though, uh, the atrium, the piazza shows were good. Mm -hmm. But because the main theatre is at the Princess Arena, there's no shows at all during our cruise. They're not ready. 
there's a big chunk of people that would be in there and now in the smaller venues. Mm. So you went to see the comedian last night, like, and you couldn't couldn't get in. Yeah. But I think as soon as they sort out the main venues, it'll be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. For saying that, in the piazza, we could find a chair, and we had the, find seats, find, get Whitney a drink, Houston service, tribute, service was, was good. good. Last night. Considering the theatre isn't taken, there's only a couple of like the Irish bar and the, the live lounge are the two places that seem to be busy. That's it. So now we're off into Hanya and Crete, and that's the video coming up next. This is a substitution for Santorini, isn't yeah. it? Because the cable car wasn't Yeah, it was meant to be Santorini, but the cable car is out of service for an extra couple of weeks. So they can't get, <laughs> they can't get people up the, the cliffside. Not sure what to wear today, though. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's sort of like a little bit of sun. The forecast in all cloud. sorts of temperature. Anyway, we'll see how we get on in that video. The coming sea's up. very blue. I'm trying to finish the video, woman. He's talking to me again, yeah. aren't you? Can we finish it now? No. OK, go on, finish. So... You can see how we get on in Crete in that video coming up next. Bye.